Hey friend, welcome here. I'm so glad you've joined me for today's video where I will be sharing everything that we use for our baby within the three to six month age range. Well, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Laura and I am a first time mom to our sweet little boy who is almost seven months now. His name is Danny. And on this channel, I love sharing videos about motherhood, homemaking, lifestyle, and my artwork, which you can check out down below. I'll leave links down there to that. If you missed my previous video where I shared everything we used in the newborn stage, I will link that up here and also down in the description box so you can check that out. There's a lot of products that I mentioned in that video that we are still using now, but I won't mention them again, so you'll definitely wanna check that out. So I hope this video is helpful for you. If you enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up and also drop this emoji in the comments so I can come say hello to you and let's get started. Let's start off by talking about my favorite sleep products. There's a lot that I've already mentioned that we use like sound machines, things like that I mentioned in my other video, so I won't repeat them here. But within the last few months, we've transitioned Danny to the Kite sleep sack. This is a one tog sleep sack. This is the softest material. I would love to actually have a full size blanket or like quilt in this material. It's so soft and fresh feeling. So like I said, this is a one tog. It's a medium. So I think the medium is to six to 18 months, something like that. And it's a full zipper. So it starts up here and zips all the way down like that so you can put your baby in. It's very long, which is great because as they get taller, it will still fit for a long time. We have two of them for this size, which I do recommend. It is great to have two. I think three would be too many in my opinion, but with two, it's nice because if there's an accident or one gets dirty, you can toss it in the wash and still have another for that nap or bedtime or whatever. A lot of times I don't have enough time to wash it and then use again. So having two is very convenient. Another sleep product I've been loving are sleepers and specifically ones that don't have the foot cover. That way they last longer. So once your baby gets too tall for the sleeper, they can still wear it because their foot just sticks out and I just put socks on to keep those toes warm. So this is great and something that I want to buy more of because most of our sleepers at this point do have the footy and I'm just finding that they're getting too small so quickly. When I was finding a mattress before Danny was born, it was really important to me that it was of course safe and also breathable and that's what I love about this Newton mattress. You can seriously breathe through it. I've put it up to my face and I can breathe just fine through this mattress. As for sheets, I don't have anything fancy. I have these two from H&M. Let me just pull one out here. They are 100% cotton. And when I got these, they were, I think, on clearance. So they were like 5 or $6. I'll try to link them down below. I'm sure they have other options if these ones aren't available. But they're just like an off-white. And I have two of them. I tend to get two of things, again, just because that makes laundry easier. So we have been loving these. I won't go into every toy that we have used with Danny, but I do want to share some of our favorites. When I'm looking for toys, I try to find ones that will be entertaining, but will also teach some sort of developmental skill. So something that is really helpful to have is some sort of play mat or floor mat. You can even use blankets on the floor. This allows baby to have free range of play. They can do tummy time here and also practice laying on their side, eventually rolling over, things like that. We have the Love Every play mat and we love it. Danny has used it every day and it's also like a play gym, which is also really nice. Something else that I would recommend is having some sort of structure or something because that helps baby to grasp things. They are entertained by looking at the different things that are hanging down. There's lots of great options out there, but we've really loved our Love Every gym. Around this age, babies start to grab things, so having different toys that they can hold onto is really nice. I love this squish ball that has all of these wooden pieces and strings that are really easy for the baby to grasp. It's really bright colors, so that's attractive to babies. And I've actually seen Danny's grip improve when using this toy because at first he couldn't like hold it because it's a little bit heavier. He couldn't hold it when he was like in his bouncer or something, but now he's able to grab onto it. He switches it back and forth from hand to hand, and it does make some sound as the wooden beads move back and forth. Also around this age, babies might start teething and putting everything in their mouths. 
Ours definitely did, and so having different teethers is really nice. We have a lot of silicone ones, like this one is from Itsy Ritsy and also has like the little poppet things, which is fun. Any sort of thing that has noise is always entertaining for babies. We also have a couple wooden ones with the silicone. I'm not sure where these ones are from, but they're pretty popular. You could probably find them on Amazon or Etsy or something. This mushy silicone ring was the one that Danny used earliest on because it was super easy for him to hold on to. And also the ears were small enough for his little mouth. He could chew on them easily. The sailboat one is also cute. We have, I think about five or six, which I found is actually a good number. They're small enough. They don't take up too much space. And I found that it's nice to have one in the diaper bag, keep one in the car, just have them easily accessible because there's something small that's easy to transport and baby can chew on them, hold them, that kind of thing. Kind of along the same lines is this sensory thing. I don't know what it's called. It looks kind of funny. My husband calls it an octopus because it, it does look like an octopus. It's some sort of sensory play thing. These are just like silicone strings that you can pull through and Danny really likes to hold on to this part. He'll hold this and then he'll also just like play with these things. He'll chew on them. So eventually once baby is older, it does teach cause and effect by pulling these through as well as fine motor skills because these are kind of smaller, like they need to use that pincher grasp. And it's also helpful in midline play, crossing the midline, things like that. So this is one that I think he'll continue to use as he gets older, which is really nice. I love to have toys that can go through different stages of development. I did not know how exciting crinkle toys would be for our baby. <laughs> we have a few different crinkle toys. They just make this crinkly sound that babies just love. Danny will play with something like this for like 20 or 30 minutes. He'll just squish it between his hands. It is constant entertainment. And they're also super easy to take on the go. So this one is a sweet book. It is the story of creation. This is another little one that just crinkles. It has like a soft side on the other side. This is another one that actually came with the Love Every Playmat, which is another reason why I love the Love Every Playmat is because it has this crinkle texture in the mat itself and different parts that baby can play with. Something that we got for our Love Every Play Gym is the sensory strands, I think it's called. But there are these sections that just dangle down that the baby can grab and they have these different sounds, the crinkle texture and sounds in there as well as jingle bells. And Danny has loved having that on his play gym. This is another toy by Itsy Ritsy. It is a stroller or car seat attachment toy. We leave it on his car seat and it's really the only toy that we take when we are out and about or in the car. Maybe we'll take a teether as well. So he can play with these. It makes sound. It has that crinkle again and we've really enjoyed this. I know I mentioned some other books that we've been reading in my newborns video. We still love those ones but a few that I have gotten more recently are ones by Tabitha Page. She has written and illustrated these. I only have a few of them. There's a lot more that you can collect and I do have some on my wish list but they're just beautiful beautiful books. This one is Wishy Washy and Tabitha Page is also a speech therapist, I believe. And so a lot of the sounds in this book are some of the earliest sounds that a baby learns. So the writing is really intentional, which I love, and the illustrations are just stunning. I'll show you some of them here. They're just beautiful illustrations, which I really appreciate because I love painting myself. So I'll link these down below. We also have the farmer's market. It's our little adventure. So I believe this is a set. I think there's three in this set. We only have this one, but it's our little adventure to the farmer's market. And this story is just so sweet. And again, the pictures are just stunning. I love them. And we've read these books to him so much. I love having books that the baby enjoys, but also I enjoy reading and <laughs> has a nice storyline and nice illustrations. It's just great. So those are some favorites. I also made an Instagram reel recently of some of my favorites, so you can check that out. Let me know some of your favorite baby books or children's books even in the comments. I'm always looking for good recommendations. So leave those down below and I'm sure other moms as well will enjoy reading through your comments. 
I try to keep it pretty minimal with clothing even though it's hard because there's so many cute baby outfits out there. I do try to buy a lot of clothing from thrift stores or secondhand. Even on Facebook Marketplace, you could go and search just like three to six month boy clothing and some moms sell like all their baby's clothing. That's a really great way to get some good deals. We mostly have sleepers and long sleeve onesies for everyday use. And then I like to have a few nicer outfits for church or for going out, but most days we're just at home. So I'm not really worried about what Danny looks like. Even when we do, he's just a baby. He can get away with wearing pajamas, but it is fun to have some cute outfits. So I love to get things from Old Navy. I love to shop at H&M for him. I have some um, sweatsuits that he wears all the time from H&M. I'll try and link them. They're so cozy, especially for the fall and winter. I've had them in multiple sizes and I'll probably just keep getting them for him because they're so comfortable. And then also Carter's. I will get some things from there. So Carter's, H&M, Old Navy, and thrifted. There's also a few smaller shops that I like to shop like Jamie K. So I will look there especially if they have things on sale but those are kind of where I shop mostly and then having some little baby socks is nice. These ones are from Carter's. We have like I think six to eight pairs which is helpful. It is winter time here so Danny just wears socks. I don't have shoes for him. He doesn't wear shoes when we go out because he's not walking. I don't see a need for shoes even though they're so cute. So I just put him in socks and that works great. I do also have a winter hat for him. I only have one. That's been enough. I recommend any sort of accessory like that. You really only need one because he's only going to wear it. Obviously he's only going to wear one at a time and it's just for warmth. So if I have one winter hat, that's good enough. I also have a snowsuit for him to wear in the cold. That's been great when we go on walks and things like that. But other than that, it's pretty simple. He has a very simple wardrobe. I also don't fold any of his clothes. I just find I can just put things in the drawers. I got a lot of things to do in the day. I don't have time to fold baby clothes and they don't really get wrinkly. And even if they do, he's just a baby. It doesn't really matter. So make it easy on yourself. Don't worry about folding the baby clothes. I won't go into a ton of detail about bath stuff because I shared it in my other video, but especially with it being cold out and skin, of course, getting dry in the cold, we've been using some baby lotions every night after bath time. So this one is the Honest brand and then also Hello Bello. I've liked both of them. They're both fragrance free. And then going along with that, let's just talk about some things that we use here at home kind of along the same lines. I've been using this diaper rash cream. I didn't use this at all in the newborn period because there wasn't any need for it, but this one is the Live Clean Baby. And again, it's fragrance free and 100% natural. So this was one I think we got at a baby shower and that's worked well. You can of course try different kinds, find what works for you. And then another thing that we've been using since it's been winter time and the air is really dry is this, I don't know if you can see it. We have this little humidifier that's just tucked beside the dresser. We leave it on all day and all night. It runs for about 12 hours and I just need to use filtered water with it but it's worked really well and helped to just keep it a little bit more moisture in his room. So I'll link that down below for you guys. And a lot of these things, as with the baby humidifier, I recommend even just waiting until you actually need that item to go and purchase it. The humidifier I just got a few months ago, I had thought about putting it on my registry earlier on, but I didn't know for sure that we would actually need it. So I just waited. And then when the time came that we actually did need it, I went ahead and made that purchase. So something to keep in mind, just being mindful about purchases and baby things, buying things when you actually need them. A couple other things that I have loved having here at home is the Baby Bjorn carrier. Again, this was something I got after Danny was born because I realized I needed something to carry him in and we've used it a lot these past few months, especially going for walks in the winter if we're going hiking, things like that. It's so, so helpful to have. And this one I got on Facebook for $20. So originally I think they're like over a hundred on their website. So I got it for a deal, which I also recommend check your Facebook marketplace, things like that buy secondhand if you can, because that's a great way to save a lot of money on products that otherwise are pretty pricey. 
The thing I love about this carrier is it's really easy to attach and tighten and use. It's really quick to put together. It's also super handy to have something that you can put your baby in if you need them to be a little bit contained or you need to have a shower or you need to get dinner ready somewhere that they can be that is a safe place for them which is why i enjoy having our baby bouncer we don't have anything else like a swing or extra saucer or anything like that i just have the baby bouncer and that is great because it's just something that we can put danny in while we need to get something done he enjoys it he can also play he can hold on to a toy while he's in there and now that he's older, he can actually bounce it a little bit and sort of move and look around and see what we're doing. It just stays in our living room area and we can just kind of carry it around to wherever we need to be. These are Ikea. Actually, they're like recycling, recycling bins, but they've been so helpful for storing baby clothes that are too small or even clothes that uh, need to be grown into. So I like them because they're stackable and then they have this lid that you can just open to grab things inside. I also like to store diapers that are too small in here. That way they're just out of the way, but we might still need them in the future. I definitely want to get some more of these as well. And like I said, they're just great because you can just keep stacking them. Danny's right here beside me just playing, so you might hear him at the background a little bit. Hi! Oh. We have done a little bit of traveling recently, and so there's a few items that have been really helpful for on the go, especially being in a new place. One of those is a pack and play or a play pen of some sort. We just have kind of the basic one. It's really, really portable, obviously, and I can set it up in, I'm not even joking you, less than 10 seconds. It's so quick, and it's great because the mattress that you actually put inside also acts as the case so you actually wrap it around the folded up playpen you wrap it around and velcro it so it's like a nice structured thing that you can carry so definitely recommend getting a playpen even if you're just going somewhere for the weekend obviously baby needs a place to sleep and it's something that we might even use in the future as a play pen <laughs> literally what it's called, but something that Danny will actually play in once he starts being more mobile and moving around and crawling, something that we can put him in and he can still move around, but he is contained while he plays. When we've traveled, it's been helpful to have a big tote that we can put things in. I'll also bring my diaper bag, of course, that fits a lot, but having some sort of just kind of like a catch-all bag, some sort of carrier big tote that you can just dump a bunch of stuff in, bring a bunch of diapers, wipes, things like that, rolled up blankets, whatever you need is a great idea. The one that I have is the 31 brand, but there's so many options out there. The main idea is just having something big that you can just put things in and have easy access to. I've really enjoyed having a car seat mirror so that I can see Danny when I'm driving. It's really helpful to know if he is awake or asleep, just to be able to check on him, make sure that he's doing okay. This one I just got from Amazon. It was pretty inexpensive and it just wraps around the, like the head of my car. I think it can fit all sorts of different vehicles, but you might want to check in the description if it will fit the kind of vehicle that you have, but that's definitely a must have on my list. Well, we did recently start Danny on solids and having the up seat has been so helpful. I love it for a few different reasons. One being that you can put it directly on the table. It also comes with straps so you can attach it to a chair if you would like. And the tray is removable so you can take it to the sink, wash it down, as well as the base um, is really easy to wipe. Another thing I love about the up seat is how it's designed to work with a baby's spine. It keeps them straight and also works with their hips and their development. You can read more about that on their website, I believe. And then for baby cutlery and dishes, a lot of the ones, actually I think all of them are silicone that we use. These plates are from Amazon that I got. They have the suction cups on the bottom so you can easily attach it to the baby's tray and then they can't move it. Definitely recommend doing that. Similarly, we have these bowls. These are the Mushy brand. 
They have the suction cup on the bottom and these are also dishwasher safe and food grade silicone, BPA free. Those are the things I look for when I'm buying baby food items. I also recommend getting silicone bids. That way you can put them in the dishwasher and you can wipe them down easily with a cloth. These ones are also from Amazon. I'll have them linked down below for you guys. And then for cutlery, I did get a set of, there's forks and spoons in this set. And I like them because we are doing baby led weaning with Danny. And so it's easy for him to grasp these. I just go ahead and load the spoon for him. He can hold on to it and feed himself. And then also these spoons are the brand Mushy as well. And these are great too if you are spoon feeding your baby. It's just easy to handle and give to them. Again, silicone so that it's dishwasher safe. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope it was enjoyable for you, but also helpful. If it was, don't forget to like it and also subscribe to my channel if you're new so that you can hear about future videos that I make. I hope you're doing well and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.